and welcome to another sketchbook tour. This one is a little bit different because I, well, I've got this massive 600 page sketchbook that I'm gonna be trying to finish by the end of the year with all my other sketchbooks and stuff. But I figured it'd be cool if I did a like progress of this and you know, then we can see it all in the very end together and stuff like that. But it's going to be my Ninja Empire sketchbook. I wanna put everything in here. So I figured I'd just go ahead and show you a little bit of progress and we can like progress as we move forward as I try and finish this gigantic sketchbook. <clears throat> so as you can see, it's all my Ninja Empire stickers, right? So all that. I figured the, the main page, first page should be a finished drawing of the Black Dragon. This is my main character. He's pretty cool. And then uh, a lot of concepts for ninjas and uh, characters that I'm, I'm creating. This is very important. Um, it's a very important symbol for the story, like future, future story. So keep this one in mind. It unveil it's un it will reveal itself later. But I can't tell you what it is right now because well, give away all the story. Um, this is probably one of one of the oldest oldest and still butt kicking ninjas that are in the Ninja Empire. So this guy is Shin. This was one of the first ninjas that I ever made and for the Ninja Empire. He is my uh, like magic ninja. So he, he uses magic. So the whole idea of ninja magic and stuff like that, he's made it into like being a ninja sorcerer. Uh, this character, uh, also I don't have a name for this character, but I wanted him to be kind of like a, I don't know, like he's a stealth. I mean, they're all stealthy right? <laughs> ninjas, but he, he's kind of really like spins a lot. He's got blades on his feet and on his, on his forearms. So he kind of does a lot of more spinning actions when he fights and stuff like that. So I figured he'd be pretty cool. Also, I was thinking that the ninja itself is actually a shell, right? And the, the actual person is going to be in the belt and that's the, the person talking. I was trying to create an army for the the um, the Shogun and the show it was going to be the Iron Rose so you know kind of trying to do a rose and then turning it into something more metallic that would happen and then creating just trying to create a uniform and stuff like that so I don't know if I'm gonna go with that but you know I just kept going trying to figure out whether or not we could have you know the, the Iron Rose ninjas Okay, so I had another sketchbook that I am, I guess I am cheating <laughs> a little bit, but I didn't want to have to redraw all of this information. I had one sketchbook, it exploded, like the spine broke. And so I just have a whole bunch of sketches that were from different ideas. And I just figured, you know, it's like, I might as well go ahead and keep them. So, you know, like the Red Mage Ninja, which is pretty cool. Trying to develop one of the main leaders. He's my Necromancer. You'll start seeing some character videos coming out soon. All right, and so just weapons, story ideas, yeah, characters. And these are really probably gonna be a little bit harder to see, but um, these are all main players that are coming in. I wanted to have a kickboxer character, so just trying to figure out how I can make him really interesting with different gauntlets and stuff like that. I like these weapons. I, I've found that I like a lot of curves in my weapons, so I have that. Drawing different weapons. I'm doing chibi stuff, because at one point I was trying to do a uh, Brawlhalla type style uh, story. I thought that would be pretty cool. But then I went back to what I know best and so just kind of went there. And it's just, like I said, these are all just things that I've had, you know, ideas for and from the other sketchbook that just kind of exploded. So I wanted to make sure that I keep this. Like this was one of the first drawings of Kasugi Hoshin, right? This made it. This, uh, um, this weapon, which has a lot to say. And, and once we go over the weapons and stuff with uh, in the story videos that I make, it'll, it'll all make more sense. But having a monk, 
nice, they have curves, right? Just a lot of curves. I love these curved weapon ideas. I think I want to do something with this character. I don't know why. Just doing profiles and, and face shots gives me so much information of stuff that I want to try, right? I don't know, random brute character. This was the initial design for uh, the number two in command. Um, it was more like this, and then I was like, maybe we can make it more, you know, kind of fancy. And it, none of this translated. And then apparently I skipped the page, <laughs> which I will I will come back in and fill in since I skipped the whole page. <laughs> um, symbols for the clans, tattoos because I kind of suck at tattoos, so just trying to come up with different tattoo ideas, different characters. Like this weapon was important, I thought, so I kept it. And then we're getting towards where this we're getting towards new stuff. Right, I did a did some maps. Uh, interest in the map, but these two didn't make it. It's just one of the multiple times where I was trying to draw a world map, see what would happen. Uh, and then this, these are my thumbnails for what I was trying to think about for the um, the limited edition 2023 Ninja Empire poster. And so you know, it's just off on a cliff. You know, person in the background, off on a cliff, off on a cliff, then trying to do multiple people, the blood splatter that came out through there. This one might eventually be something. I might come back to that one. Um, yeah, you know, and just the typical things. This one with the two main good guy characters. And uh, eventually, so ultimately, we ended up with like this one, right, where we had the wife and child in the background of the clouds, him standing on the edge. And well, it was this one. So him standing on the edge with his sword out, looking over the Valley of Souls, and you know, just kind of being all like, "Oh my goodness, what is happening here?" You know, I can't believe I'm about to do this. In the end, it's a lot less serene and a lot more brutal. <laughs> uh, so be on the lookout for when I actually release it. I think I'm going to wait to debut it at this convention that's happening on the 10th of February. So. Yeah, just just know that this is where we ended up and then finally so this was the last thing that I did in in my sketchbook uh, I'm trying this different style and I didn't know what I was doing <laughs> right and that's why there's a whole bunch of textures here and smears and stuff like this was the first well the second attempt this was the second attempt at using like a brush pen to do a lot of brush work because I'm not that kind of person. So normally what I do is pens. So I, I just use fine liners and it's a very clean line. And so I was taking these brushes and you know trying to smear in some areas, trying to give it this more rough and authentic look that would fit for the Ninja Empire. And I really do, I like what was happening, but I was trying to do the spackle effect and it didn't work, like it didn't work at all. <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't. It did not work at all because uh, I think the brush I had was just kind of splattering it everywhere, so it didn't work. Also, like something I'm seeing is like this black. So this ink right here is having a hard time because the the water paint is sucking up and interacting with the actual ink. So I'm gonna have to play around and see which one I can use so that it won't turn red. So it's turning red, so I think it's interacting with some stuff, but the idea is to be able to have like some splatter texture and black texture and stuff like that. And then just having this nice loose brush effect and probably putting it in an old paper. So I might actually try it for like a cover. I don't know, we're gonna see, but this is definitely a style that I'm going to be looking into for Ninja Empire in the future. You might even see me trying it with a page with a comic book page to see just how well it will work and I think that it can work with just flat colors with all this texture and stuff going on so yeah so there you go like that's the very beginnings the next time you see this will probably be next month and next time and I can show you the progress that we've made because we got to try and start knocking out some of these pages and <clears throat> Yeah, I, I want to be able to finish this by the end of the year. I know that a lot of people can like knock this out a lot faster, but 
you know, due to school and life and all that stuff, I, I don't have enough time to dedicate to just this one specific sketchbook. But as I go along and there's something significant as far as progress goes, we'll come back and we'll do another, ver another episode of this 600 page sketchbook. And I hope that you will join me on the journey for this so you can see the development and the characters that are cre being created and environments and stuff like that. And I hope that you will enjoy this sketchbook tour of the Ninja Empire 600 page sketchbook. Thank you guys so very, very much for joining me on this sketchbook tour. And I hope that you will follow all the other sketchbook tours that I'm doing and all the other content. So if you are new to my channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the bell so that you get notified every single time that I drop new content. Thank you guys so very much. And I will see you guys at the next episode.